So understanding the traffic light system that we use, this is an absolute game changer for so many people because it just brings some realness to it. If you look at the eat more list, so that's the green, they're foods that are minimally processed, they're whole foods, they're fantastic for you. You notice there's a few odd ones for some of us, like goat and camel, but these are eaten, you can give them a go and see what it turns out like. There is insects as well, uh, delicacies in some countries. Lentils and beans, it does confuse some people, but if you, it says here, these only count as a protein source if a more protein rich option, such as above, is not in the meal. Otherwise, they count as a carbohydrate source as they contain more carbohydrates than protein. So this is usually for vegetarians and um, vegans. Look at the yellow list, so these are somewhat processed, uh, they're put in packaging or they're like cooked a certain way and it changes the nutritional output of them. So they become a yellow eat sometimes sort of food approach. Eat less is pretty much your, your fun foods that people say, the foods that you miss out on. Um, but realize, realize that when you make that transition from the eat less to eat more, you're going to feel better. Your met, met, um, metabolism is going to be firing off. You're going to be feeling like you're going to have so much more energy. You're going to see results because your body's actually able to put the right things to use. It does say high mer mercury fish there. So this is from America. So I know that is an issue over there. I'm not too sure in Australia if mercury is an issue. And you can see these are highly processed foods. Okay. Same for the carbohydrates as you, uh, the eat more. So the green list. These are your wholesome beans, uh, wholesome wheat. Sorry. Looking through plain non-Greek yogurt, sweet potatoes, yuca. You also do have corn there. So fresh and frozen fruit is actually a carb. Doesn't mean it's good or bad. Not necessarily. All food should kind of be looked at somewhat neutrally, but understand there is better, like more nutritional value eating on the spectrum that we're providing here. When you look at the yellow list, it's somewhat processed. And just taking that into consideration, like where could you transition some of these foods into the eat more foods and the eat less, really limiting your intake on that as much as you can because these foods themselves, they just change your mood, they change your body, they create stress within the body. Uh, diabetes, all sorts of things is related to high sugar consumption. So thinking about the food you're eating, creating awareness, tracking it, reduces the amount you're actually going to eat and therefore improving your quality of life. Fats, eat more, eat some, eat less, same principle. You can see the foods available here. Nuts are a fantastic source of um, fat and they're pretty easy. But what I want you to think about is when you're eating your fats, you only get a thumb. So if you're there eating half an avocado and you should be only eating like one thumb, you're probably over consuming by three thumbs. But within your day, if you have three fats and you're just gonna eat your avocado and you have three thumbs, well, yeah, you know what? It's gonna work because throughout the day, you're still only gonna end up with the three. So it's learning how you can change the way you eat or improve it so that you're moving towards those targets and you make sacrifices in certain areas to actually hit those targets and keep yourself happy. So it's not about following a strict plan. It's like, all right, well, lunch, I could have had nuts, but you know what, I feel like extra avocado today. I'm just gonna go without my nuts for lunch. And that's why this approach is fantastic because you can just kind of mind map or write it down and just move things around as if it's a template and you can put it into practice. You go out for dinner, you're like, oh, I know I usually have a protein for dinner, which is a steak. Uh, veggies, carbs, where well, you can actually be like, all right, well, cool, that's available here, I can eat that, and it's gonna taste pretty good usually. The only time when you're at the pub, whatever, the fats, you're not gonna know what it's quite cooked in. So just be a little bit mindful of that, but it, in the long run, if you're eating better, if you're choosing the steak and the salmon over like the burgers, because you know that you can track it and trace it, you're gonna have a better outcome over six weeks, because those meals are gonna improve significantly, and you're gonna feel better about your choices.